Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, for anybody who's new, my name is Dory. I am 48 years old, five foot four inches tall, and on September 12th, almost four years, uh, 2016, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery. Um, my highest recorded weight was 350 pounds. Day of surgery it was 300.5. The lowest I've seen is 156.3 for like, I don't know, a few days. <laughs> Um, I was in the 160s for a while and I bumped to 172-ish. I had it, didn't weigh myself this morning. Yesterday I was 174, um, but I think I'm going to be um, on my way back down. I know I probably um, went up a little bit because I had a little bit extra salt on, I want to say Monday night. Yeah, Monday night. And I also um, bought some cashews and nuts really are a no-go for me. <laughs> Unless they're pre-portioned out, I have no self-control, especially cashews. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to guess I'm probably 172, 173 today. Um, and that's fine. I'm feeling good. I'm actually just working on, um, I want to start doing like yoga and working myself up to being more um, more flexible. The problem I'm having is I know I mentioned on my Instagram stories, but I'm having a hard time sitting um, what used to be called Indian style when I was a kid. Now they call it crisscross applesauce. Um, and so I've been doing some stretches and I'm gonna actually go to the chiropractor and get aligned because I know that one of my hips seems like it's higher than the other. So. I'm going to do that, but that's what I'm kind of focusing on. And I'm doing it because I don't know if this will ever correct itself, but um, my when I walk, I notice even in my videos when I'm like meal prepping and everything, I walk like I'm still so bottom heavy, which I do have most of the, the excess skin in my um, thigh area, like my um, front of my thighs above my knees. And I feel like I'm always overcompensating, like I think I'm going to fall. So I still kind of walk like a fat person, even though I'm not. So anyhow, that's a side note. Speaking of meal prep, though, since I just mentioned meal prep, um, I did not do a video like I normally do for you guys um, because my oldest daughter is having a baby. So um, Sunday, Monday, uh Yesterday, she was having a lot of false labor and a lot of contractions, and so I was just trying to help her out. Um, but what I am going to do within the next couple of days is do a meal prep video. It's not going to be bariatric friendly, um, keto, low carb style because I'm meal prepping for her. Um, she isn't low carb or keto or anything, and so I'm just kind of going to be prepping for her and her boyfriend. Um, after they have the baby. So I'm planning on making um, homemade meatballs. I'm gonna fully cook everything and then stick it in uh, freezer bags so that way she can just pull it out and pop it in the microwave or in the oven or on top of the stove or whatever to make it easier after she has the baby. So I'm gonna be making Italian meatballs and I'm gonna fully cook those and then stick them in a Ziploc bag with um, marinara sauce and then I'm going to be making meatloaf. She requested meatloaf, um, and so I'll be making that, and I'm going to fully cook that as well, and then take it out of the mold and put it into a freezer bag, um, and I'm gonna label everything, and then I'm gonna do chicken a ton of different ways, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of boneless um, chicken thighs, and I'm gonna make them, um, these I'm not gonna cook. These I'm gonna leave for her to be able to stick into a crock pot. Um, so I'm going to make a bunch of crock pot meals. So I'm planning on doing um, the chicken with um, potatoes and carrots uh, for one meal. And then I'm going to do chicken and I'm going to do like a salsa sauce with Mexican type, uh, Spanish type herbs um, and spices. And I'm going to put that into a Ziploc bag and then I'm going to do chicken and some sort of like a gravy, homestyle gravy type thing with spices and everything. And I'll probably add um, some kind of vegetable to that. And then I'll give her like some, um, I'm planning on making like mashed potatoes for her and rice and things like that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make that fresh for the days that she chooses to have like the meatloaf. Um, if I'm gonna just give her like 
frozen corn on the side or what I'm going to do. But basically that's my plan. So I, I plan on just meal prepping a couple of things and then um, showing you guys how easy it is to uh, do some um, freezer bag meals that you just basically take out of the freezer, thaw it the night before, pop it in your um, slow cooker for about six to eight hours. I'll probably end up doing some kind of a taco uh, chili type thing for her. Uh, she doesn't eat beans, so I won't have beans in them for her. Um, but yeah, so basically that's what I'm planning on doing. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do that within the next couple of days just to be um, sure that she has it. So as it is now, she, for whatever reason, um, this is her first baby and um, she is not dilating. And so she, uh, the baby is right there, like right there. Doctor could feel baby's head. Everything was fine. She's having a little girl named Ember. Um, but her cervix is not dilating and she's 41 weeks today. So they're planning an induction with her on Friday. Um, and they're going to do a procedure with a balloon. Basically they insert the balloon on one side of the cervix and, and put saline in it and it helps the cervix to dilate. She, out of all of my six kids was my quickest labor in delivery. I delivered her in an hour and 22 minutes. I labored mostly at home and I think that's actually what's happening to her. I think she's going to have a very, very quick um, delivery. So let's hope for that. Um, but that would explain why I was not able to do the meal prep. Um, I was with her just really trying to make sure that the room is ready. I put all the little cute newborn diapers in the diaper stacker and the wipes in her wipe warmer. And we haven't plugged it in yet, of course, because we don't know exactly what day she'll be coming home. But um, you know, I just packed away her, you know, the older kids clothes, you know, three to six months, uh, six to nine months, labeled everything for her, just really wanting her to be successful. Um, you know, definitely helping her to um, get ready for breastfeeding and things of that nature. And so anyhow, that was just a side for you guys. So back to my weight loss journey here, because that's what you're here for. Um, so guys, I'm coming up on four years post-op. I feel great. I don't feel like I have to, two things I think, uh, really transpired this week. One was, I don't feel like I have to check my ketones every day. That became kind of like an obsession. I just wanted to see the number rising. But one thing that I noticed was that the higher my ketone number, not during fasting, but during normal eating days, the higher my ketone number was, the less weight I lost or the weight I would have gained, which is weird because I don't feel like I was eating anything extra, but it was just a weird thing that happens to my body. And that is why I don't subscribe to one eating, um, you know, way of eating diet slash whatever you want to call it um, anytime because it just doesn't work for my body. My body loves to be challenged. It loves to have all these different things. I'm planning on doing another 40 hour fast next week. Um, I plan on doing these once a month and it's about a month since my last one. And so next week I'm planning on doing probably on Saturday, Sunday, breaking it Monday maybe. Um, but anyhow, I'll figure that out when it comes. But um, so that was something that was fantastic. So I check my ketones once a week, if that, um, just to see kind of where I'm at. And I really don't even care. Um, I know my body's doing what it needs to do. And I know that my fat is being used for energy. And so that's all I need to do. And two, I don't feel like I have to weigh every day. Like today I got up, I got dressed. I'm like, I'm not even going to weigh. Like it doesn't even matter. Like I feel great. I feel like, um, I'm not a slave to food or the scale anymore. I'm just kind of living life, which is great. Um, there's so much more life to live. I'm also considering sending in my pictures to um, the plastic surgeon that I picked um, to do it. I'm probably going to send it to two. I'm going to send it to Dr. Salceda um, in, I want to say Monterey, yeah, Monterey, Mexico. And I'm also going to send it in to Alex Galvez. Um, and I may do a local guy here, depending on um, if my insurance will cover it here or not. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a thing that's up in the air. It's not something, I know there's some people who are like, I can't wait to have surgery. I can't wait to have all this skin removed. But honestly, for me, um, 
I'm already 48 years old and I don't want to be selfish with our money. Like, I don't want to be like, do I really need it? Do I, could I get by without it? And, um, and what I would have done is I would have my stomach and my lower, um, body lifted. That would be my, my, um, my, uh, choice of what I would have done if I could only have one thing done. Of course, I'd love to have my arms done, but that's not really what bothers me the most. What bothers me the most is my lower stomach, but my thigh area and my, um, I had a huge butt (laughs) before. And so, um, what bothers me is just it, gravity has just pulled it down. So I don't really have a butt unless I'm wearing like these underwear that pull, pull it up. Um, but like it's just it all hangs down and I have a lot of the upper thigh um, fat and I know he could probably remove I would guess maybe eight pounds of fat from my lower body Um, but anyhow so that is something that I'm thinking of but I really 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 want to get down more weight so the pictures are more accurate and so um If I was, say, 172, 173 today, I have about a good 10 10 to 13 pounds that I want to get down before I am going to um, send in those pictures. Um, I am taking my vitamins religiously every day. I know I have a video explaining what kind of vitamins I take. I'm also making sure I drink my 80 or more uh, ounces of water a day. That is a 40-ounce um tumbler cup thingy and I got it off Amazon and it keeps everything it's insulated it's got a lifetime warranty it's by a company called iron flask um came in a ton of different colors that was like 30 bucks I want to say maybe 27 um but I love that one and so I make sure I sip all day long on that I'm really uh trying to stick to the intermittent fasting I do see where I am um where I am kind of lacking uh, in some areas if I don't intermittent fast. And I also gain if I don't eat my two meals a day and not snack. And so I'm really just getting back to that today. I'm going to, in my mind, not even listen to any kind of um, hunger, mental emotions or anything. In my mind, I'm going to eat twice a day at 11 and 4 and that's it. That is going to be my, um, my two times a day that I'm going to eat. I have been doing everything on replay, <laughs> which is um, there was a company that I ordered from PBH Foods. I did a review um, on Instagram about it, and I kind of love their bagels, but they have been out of the bagels because as they were shipping them, they were coming to me moldy. So they reformulated. I did just order some yesterday. They re-released them, and so the stats are amazing on them, and they keep me full for all those hours until my next meal, which is fantastic. And so I've been having, like, they have donuts, so I've been using their donuts in place of the bagels because those are uh, very filling as well and the stats are great and so I had that with cream cheese and um, faye yogurt um, with a little bit of the uh, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener on top and maybe an ounce of berries or sometimes I'll throw throw some um, walnuts in it Um, and that's basically what I'm eating and then my second meal around dinner time is normally like a burger and uh, with cheese on it or I might have bacon and eggs Um, But really, just what I feel like eating, what's available, what I don't want to like, you know, I had like a taco bowl yesterday, but I also did eat three meals yesterday, so I know that the scale wasn't going to go down today, but I mean, it's fine. It's not, um, it's not plaguing me. Uh, I don't feel like I have this regain and that I can't control or anything like that, and I don't feel like I'm like out of control with, um my emotions surrounding food. So that's good. Those are all good things. Um, what else? Oh, I feel like I just wanted to tell you guys something. Um, oh, I did. Okay. So the other day I put on my Instagram stories and on my Instagram, um, page that, um, I re I recently got an order from a company called a uh, great low carb food company or bread company. And they arrived to me. I was waiting for these so bad because they're humongous bagels. And I know Nikki 
I mean, uh, Nicole Burgess eats them and they look fantastic. They have an everything bagel. They have a um, garlic bagel. They have a plain bagel. And I was so looking forward to these and they took a long time to get to me and I was so afraid that they were gonna come moldy and they did. Um, I ordered some pasta for my husband. The pasta stats are amazing. Um, I just don't really, that wasn't really like my food of choice when I was so obese. I could care less whether I had pasta. But anyways, I did get some spaghetti and fettuccine for him just to try um, as like a fun thing to have. Um, but all of my bagels, and I did post pictures, all of my bagels came molded. $85 worth of bagels. I tried a brownie, a chocolate chip cookie, things like that. But the bagels look, they're huge. They, the stats are amazing. So I think that they're going to be even better than that first company. But until I try them, I won't really know. But they came to me um, all moldy. So I did contact the company. They got to back to me the very next day somebody called me from the customer service and I took those posts down in the stories because I feel like um, they were a great um, a great company and they have great customer service so I didn't want to you know bad mouth them anymore but basically because of the heat and the COVID um, they are taking a little longer to come here and FedEx is taking a little longer to um, deliver them so basically um he uh, he's reshipping everything except for the pasta because that was fine and he is expediting it for a three-day um a three-day um delivery and so these should be here tomorrow so um he shipped them out monday night and so he said yeah thursday morning they should be here so hopefully they come hopefully i'm able to tell you guys what i think of them um I am really excited to try them. They're huge because um, I can't show them to you, but the birds ate them all. Um, I took all of it and just threw it all over my ground. And for the last three days, my birds have been so excited. Um, and the little chipmunks and the little squirrels have been just loving them. And so basically um, the company that was really what I expected, I either expected a full refund um, or I expected them to reship it at their expense and that's exactly what they did um, Which was great. So I will let you guys know how I like them when they do come in um, And I also did that PBH foods that I reviewed the first time that I liked um, They actually reformulated their bagels. They took them off their website um, For about a week and a half two weeks And so I ordered some of those yesterday as well just to see and they assured me that they would not mold, that the reformulation that they did um, would not mold at all. And so, and they're supposed to be bigger than they were. So anyways, those are two of the things that I'll have coming up. So yeah, so look for the things. And guys, if you're just watching my videos for the first time, please give it a like um, and subscribe to my channel. I would love to grow this channel just to kind of get things out there. I do meal preps. I do food hauls. I do... Um, the updates on my weight loss surgery, updates on weight. Um, there's going to be, you know, I'm sure something about skin removal surgery at some point, um, things I'm finding out and things that I'm doing. And um, I even threw in a video of my 12 year old daughter singing. She has an amazing voice. Um, and so I just thought that that would be cool for you guys to see. Um, she just recorded that on her own after we had watched our church service online because of course of COVID. Um, but anyway, so that's it for now, you guys. Um, I should be uh, having a, another granddaughter. I have one who's four months old. I love her. Her name's Catherine Elizabeth, and this is going to be Ember Isabella um, after my daughter Isabella. And so, um, yeah, so any day now, hopefully Friday morning, uh, I will have my second granddaughter. And so that is it, guys. I am coming up on my big four-year anniversary of my surgery and I'm going to plan to do a really, um, a really in-depth uh, video on that, what I would have changed, what I'm thankful I didn't change and things like that. So until next time, have a good week, you guys.